Okay, so this is solving a multi-step equation involving a single logarithm type 1. So I cannot do the change of base just yet because if I try to do the change of base, I'm going to have ln argument over ln of the base, and the argument is going to have a variable in it. You cannot do that in your calculator when your argument has a variable in it, okay? So if I can't do the change of base formula, the only other thing that I can do um, is to use the definition of a logarithm to rewrite this as an exponential. So if I do that, the base stays the base, a log is equal to the exponent, so the four is the exponent, and then the argument goes over to the other side. And now I no longer have an equation where I can't change it to plug it into the calculator. I can solve this, it's just a regular problem. Two to the fourth is 16. So this is a regular linear equation. Add three to both sides. You get 19 equals three X. Divide by three on both sides. You get that 19 over three is equal to X. The only thing you have to do is make sure that whatever you get for X, it doesn't make a base negative and it doesn't make an argument negative. Those are the only two things you have to worry about. It cannot make a base negative and it cannot make an argument negative. Now my base is two. That's not gonna change no matter what x is. And two is positive, so this is, the base is fine. The argument though does have an x in it, so it's the argument that you wanna make sure that doesn't um, create a negative value for this, um, not even negative, but zero as well. You wanna make sure that the argument is positive. So if I plug this in here, I wanna make sure that when I plug in my x value that I found, that the argument is positive. If it is positive, this is my solution. If it is not a positive number, if it's zero or a negative number, then even though I did all the math and I got this, this is go not going to be a solution. So I did get positive 16, which means I can box this. This is a solution. Now let's look at this one. Again, I can't do ln of the argument over ln of the base because then the argument would still have an x in it. So the only thing I can do is switch the form to an exponential. So this base with that exponent and then the argument goes to the other side. Why do I keep trying to change the numbers here? So then 3 to the third power is 27. We get negative 4x plus 7. We minus 7 from both sides. We get that 20 equals negative 4x. Divide by negative 4. Divide by negative 4. We get that negative 5 equals x. The base is 3. That's not negative. So base is fine. We want to make sure that the argument is not going to be negative. So when I plug in negative 5, I get positive 27. So this is a good answer. What happens if you do your math and this gives me a negative argument? If it's the only x value you found and it does not check out, then you would say that the answer has no solution.